Hi, I'm Jen, and I was wrong about Matt Smith making a horrible doctor. He was fantastic. Monday started off kind of slow. I did some writing sprints on top of Sif because she's a good sport and really wanted to be near me. It was actually a pretty nice day outside, so I decided to go out and begin unpacking all the stuff that arrived with the shed package. It's in pieces, kind of all over the place. There's more in the back. And now I'm going through the organ, the, the words I completely forgot, the directions for putting the floor together and making sure that I have all the pieces before I get started. Built a Joyce box. This took me about 45 minutes and it is not good. I am not super, super like, thrilled with the way it came out, but I have two more that I have to build, I think. That looks like there won't be room for two more, but I guess we'll find out. Huh? That night, Jeremy and Sebastian were still at the hospital. So I decided to watch Star Trek. This is Star Trek, right? Nope, Pirates of the Caribbean. It's Return of the King. Somewhere in the course of this week, I got my numbers completely mixed up and thought that I was 40,000 words behind my goal, which is impossible. I didn't slow down and think about that. And instead I panicked and started getting super overwhelmed with how much writing I would have to do in order to stay on track for even normal NaNoWriMo numbers, let alone the NaNoWriMo goals that I set for myself. If that happens to you, first of all, slow down, double check your numbers, and come back to it when you've cleared your head. Stop worrying about that crazy, like, miscalculation that you did, and just get back to writing. If your numbers were correct, I'm gonna need you to take some advice from the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Don't panic. If you don't make it to 50,000 words by the end of the month, nothing is going to happen. Unless you, like, set a goal for yourself that's based on an assignment that's due or something like that. Thinking that I was behind on words had me very motivated to get up early and try and get some early morning writing in, which I used to be really good at. And as it turns out, I am not anymore. Here's some footage of me and Dinah going back to bed after getting up, having some cereal, drinking tea, and then failing to get any words on the page at all. I promise you I've been writing today, but this is what professional writers call um, procrastination, I believe. I'm building my cat children, a nook's cranny. Sif is here to oversee construction. Um, Dinah's over there, just not getting involved. I didn't do a lot of filming on Tuesday because I was pretty much just hanging out with Sebastian and with Jeremy when they got back from the hospital and enjoying time together. Wednesday was kind of more of the same. I had a lot of stuff on my schedule for the book festival, but I ended up skipping most of it, except for food and storytelling, which was a really interesting panel. Tardis, yeah. Wednesday night, I attended a writing group with the Maryland Writers Association, Annapolis chapter. I had a lot of fun just doing some writing activities that had nothing to do with NaNoWriMo. I probably should have been trying to up my word count, but my brain wasn't really in it to win it. So I still flexed my writing muscles and enjoyed my time. Hey, so we are gonna hook the Alpha Smart up to my laptop and get the words that I've been typing off of there onto the computer and find out how many words I have because I haven't done that in a couple of days. So we're gonna do that right now. So I'm definitely gonna link the full article about the Alpha Smart in the description below this video. But I'm also gonna tell you a few of the things that I have really liked about the Alpha Smart now that I have a little bit of experience working with it. It's incredibly portable. This is super light, easy to carry, and it has batteries. So you don't have to remember your charging cord. You don't have to look for somewhere to plug in once we start going places again, or when I switch rooms, which is really nice. And this is the only cord that it comes with. And that cord plugs into my computer. So I store this with my laptop, not even my Alpha Smart. The other thing I really like about the Alpha Smart is that it's easy to switch between files. There's just these buttons here at the top and you can switch what file you're working on. This is also really easy to clear off when you're done with a file. Go on, there's a button right here, clear file. Do you want to? Yes, I do. And now that file's gone. 
Although I don't really need to do that because I think each file holds about a hundred printed pages on them. Maybe that's wrong, maybe a hundred total. Not entirely sure, it explains it in the article below. But either way, I'm never gonna be working on this for that long and storing that much data on something like this. So that's not a concern for me. It doesn't have any learning curve at all. It's essentially a digital typewriter slash word processor, if you could even call it that. And it is kind of annoying to edit on here. I tried even editing a couple of lines at a time. And even that was just like, ugh, don't even worry about it. I'm just gonna leave the words and I'll go back and get them later. There's no select and delete. So there's no temptation to sort of like, just take huge chunks of what you've already written and delete them. So you just leave it there and you get to editing later. I would say those are the things that I really like. Uh, it's easy to carry around. It's easy to learn how to use and it's a really fast little word processor for what it does. Um, I'd been looking into the free write, but that thing is like $300. And this was 30 off eBay. So this is a much better solution financially. When I load them off the AlphaSmart and into the computer, I load them into their own document. So now we go here. And it just types everything right into the computer. And I actually typed on two different files on the AlphaSmart this week. So I'm gonna have to do this twice, which is fine. And yeah, you have to just wait for it to retype everything. Woohoo, we got 1541 in this file. So that's pretty great. So like I said, I've got another file on my alpha smart. So what I have to do is type command file five. There we go. Ready? Oh. And actually it gives you a percentage of how much is already transferred on the screen, which I did not see last time because I keep watching this happen because this is fascinating to me. Let's find out how many words Jen has written total this NaNoWriMo. 29,800 and change. So we're getting close to 30,000 and my next reward, which I will most definitely update you guys on because it's gonna take a little bit of searching. When I realized that I had made it past 30,000 words, I thought that my reward was an Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. mug. And so I went online and started searching for it. And that's what I'm referencing in the video about thinking that it's gonna take some searching. But I checked my planner and realized that the 30,000 word reward was actually the third volume of the Eternal Editions of Sailor Moon, which is these amazing books here with the sparkly covers and the beautiful art inside from the original manga run and super interesting translator's notes at the end of the books. I started collecting these a couple of years ago and I really love them. I've always loved Sailor Moon and it's this kind of ridiculous combination of having a superhero who's really bad at gym class and cries a lot, but kind of rocks it when she gets her superpowers that has kept me returning to the Sailor Moon series for my entire life. Yeah, we're gonna go with my entire life. So it is Thursday night, Friday night, and Sif is still, not still, she's asleep again, kind of hanging out here. I'll be putting this uh, keyboard on top of her shortly. I have fixed myself some highly caffeinated tea because I am way behind and we're gonna watch some Harry Potter. And there's no switch in the switch case because Jeremy has decided all of a sudden that he wants to play games on the switch, even though it's my switch. Hey, Lauren. Sif, attack. Look at my attack cat. Saturday, we tried again and got in the car and drove to Starbucks and had this super stimulating conversation about Taron Edgerton. Taron Edgerton's gonna be in the Tetris movie. No. So there's some cursed Shut news up. for you. Shut up, which piece is he gonna be? <laughs> you know what, never mind. Nope, I know. <laughs> which one, the really long one? Nope. Square? Maybe the one that's all the way up and down and then it's got one that's middle. Ah, no, why would he be that piece? I feel like it. <laughs> he feels he like that kind of chaotic pieces. energy. One of the what? Z pieces. Z pieces. <laughs> oh my god. Why am I so 
invested in Taryn's professional life. Rocket Man has been my quarantine movie. I have watched it 34 times at least. And uh, I don't see myself slowing down. Uh, it's hot. Okay. What else, hon? And then can I also do a medium London fog? I've got my drink. I've got my computer. I've got my cat. Girl, I got work to do. And yet. Hello, yard cat. She's our assistant today. We are nailing in the plywood on the foundation of my little writing shed. Whoop, whoop. Okay, so our flooring is obviously done. These are gonna stand up here and that's gonna stand up back there. And we just had to attach these pieces here that are called headers and we're breaking for lunch. And then we're gonna come back out and do some more stuff. We have to add some caulking to the pieces in between here because those are actually like shingles, I guess. Like, how do you call it? What? How do you call like the siding? It's siding. There's space between the little cedar shingles. So we're gonna add some waterproof and mildew proof caulking in between the pieces so that it doesn't get all gross and fall apart. After we did a bunch of building on the shed Saturday, we realized we needed a couple more supplies. So we ordered them from Lowe's and headed back out on Sunday morning. We went to Lowe's to pick up the ladders that we need to build the roof on the shed and also to pick up four tubes of caulk. if you're incredibly beautiful and you're cleaning yourself right now and it's super cute uh is there anything you'd like to tell your fans about your day it's puppy what was that was that a puppy i'm going to talk about the mid-month slump which happens somewhere between the beginning of last week and the end of this past week so like somewhere in there during the three week mark usually is where people tend to abandon their project or at the very least plan to abandon their project. It has certainly happened to me this year and in years past where not only have I wanted to abandon things, but I have kind of just given up or changed the plot of my novel. I see in like write-in chats a lot where people are asking questions about changing the setting or changing their character changing their name, changing a plot point, whatever. I flip flop on plot points all the time. And that was one big important thing that I was trying to teach myself this year is that I can make a decision, write it for a while, and then change my mind back to the other decision and then write it that way for a while. Then I at least have tried both ways and kept writing as I go. I can change that stuff in editing, and you can too, but you can't change what you haven't written. And if you're sitting there kind of going back and forth on making a decision about which idea might be better for your book, you're never gonna know. The book in your head that's been perfectly written doesn't exist, and you have to stop fooling yourself about that. That is in fact this week's advice that Jen can dish out, but can never, never take, and probably will never be really great at taking but maybe if I say it often enough, I'll remember it. I'm setting a goal this week to only write act three scenes. I haven't written it yet, or I changed my mind about something I've already written. I'm just gonna make a note, put it in my binder, come back to it later. But I'm gonna have to keep moving forward and try to make it to the end of this book, try and figure out what it's actually going to do plot wise. So that is the goal for this week. Make it to 50,000. Maybe, maybe not, we'll see. But finish a book, beginning, middle, and end. It's, it's not gonna be pretty, and it's not gonna be something I want anyone to read. But it's gonna exist, and then I can edit it and play with it in a shed that will eventually be built. Hopefully before it starts snowing. All right, guys, that's it for NaNoWriMo week three. I hope you're all staying safe and staying healthy. Make good choices about Thanksgiving this week, you guys. 
Just because it's your family doesn't mean that they're immune to coronavirus and you should probably stay home. And that's all I'm going to say on that. I'll see you next week. Good luck with your writing. Stay safe and stay well. Are you always this articulate? Hercules. My, <clears throat> my name is Hercules. Mm.